Hello, am I live? I think I might be. Hello. I think I'm live. I had some technical issues. Can you see me? Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look on my computer-y type thingy-majig and see if I'm on my screen. Oh, I am. I am. I'm here. <laughs> I had to check. Hi everybody, oh there's a few of you here already, sorry I'm a couple of seconds late, just um, didn't quite figure out the time. So let's just see who's here, Lizzie's here, whoops I'm early, clearly my Friday nights are uneventful, they are for all of us at the moment. And we've got Joss here who says yes me too, and Barry, I have an excuse I'm working, so Barry's being distracted. Uh, and Lizzie is singing all by myself. That's going to scare everyone off. Well, my singing, of course. Um, and Jimbo's here saying hi. And uh, Lizzie missed dinner, so I'm munching on a bag of cheesy McCoy's crisps. I literally just emptied them. I started them in the bath. Uh, mid-afternoon and I was really good because I didn't eat the whole packet now I've had a couple of drinks empty oops a galan man is here hello and Yara, hello. Sorry, I'm just catching up with your comments. Mark Anderson, hi Claire, you're looking nice and tan. Thank you. I, I try to get out as much as I can in the sunshine. It's my favourite thing. Um, da Vinci's Alchemist is here. Hiya. <laughs> Lizzie says, how come you're so tanned over here, jealous? It's just because I love, <laughs> I love to bake myself in the sun. It's my favourite thing. It's literally my favourite thing. I should be in Milan right now. Who else should be in Milan right now? Let me know. My cat is on the floor. Oh, I wonder if I can show you. Oh, she's just licking herself now. But she was all stretched out. It was quite cute. Maybe I can show you. She's doing that thing that cats do. There she is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is she cute? I've barely seen her lately. She's kind of um. I feel like I feel like she's slipping away from me. <laughs> uh, what I mean by that is, oh, camera angle. Um, yeah, like she's not hanging out with me as much at the moment. She just like sits in her. I'm gonna sort this angle out. Sits on her little perch there. And like doesn't come to get me out of bed in the mornings. Um, oh, I messed up the camera now. Uh, uh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> I honestly, I've only had two drinks. I promise. I think it's two. It's either two or it's three at the most. Um, but <laughs> predicted Tony. Hello. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I think that camera's, the camera angle's probably okay now. Um, uh, Lizzie says, I hope nobody noticed how pissed I was in my last video. Clearly I'm the lightweight of the year. You didn't seem pissed at all. I, as soon as I saw your Instagram post, I was like, right, I'm gonna go watch that. I didn't notice any slurring. I thought about doing the video, but I'm useless uh, knowing who any celebrities are. <laughs> I don't have any celebrity crushes, not any real ones. Maybe Ray Winston, <laughs> which is, you know, in reality, I probably wouldn't really go there, but I was something about his voice. But no, I don't really know who anyone is. So I could maybe I could probably find five with a bit of research that I might have a go at. <laughs> but I've never been one. I don't. Yeah, I've just got a TV. So I moved in in August and didn't. I sold my TV in my last house, and then I just decided not to get a TV. And then of course lockdown. Can't go, can't go to the pub. 
I find myself looking at my phone way too much because I haven't got a TV. So it's getting a bit much. So I've got a TV. First time last night I watched, so I've only got Netflix at the moment. I haven't got real TV. But um, yeah, what was, it, what was it called? Uh, it was a British sort of drama mystery thing. Um, and I've forgotten what it's called, but it was good. So I watched it till about one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. And then I finished the last of the series in the bath on my phone earlier. And now I've started a new one called The Sinner. Hello, sweetie. Uh, so yeah, I've got a TV now. So I nearly didn't come on to do a live because I, I'm, I'm now just like staring at my TV set, catching up, a lot of catching up to do. Uh, Peter's here. Happy birthday, Peter. Do you want me to sing you happy birthday? Would that ruin your day? Come on, everyone join me. Uh, I'll count you in. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peter. Happy birthday to you. I hope you all joined in. Blow your candles out, Peter. Um uh catch up with your comments um sorry i'm a bit scatty today uh. neil smith says less wind this evening yes no wind well not yet nothing yet uh, Joss says your thumbnail was adorable with Sweetie and the Perla perfume. Yeah, I took that a few days ago and I was actually going to post it on Facebook for uh, someone's birthday, Sarah. Uh, Sarah Waite had a birthday and then I got distracted and I never posted it so I felt bad about that but I used it as a thumbnail <laughs> instead. Uh, and... Mm -mm -mm. Everyone say happy birthday to Peter. Um, right. Okay, I think I'm kind of up to date. I think if there's anything I've missed and you want me to have read, just write it again, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's start off with a drink of the night, everyone. Cheers, mine is the usual. So it's, uh, in fact, it's budget. So we've got Smirnoff in here, that's fine. But couldn't get proper Diet Coke or Pepsi Max for some reason. So I've got Asda's Diet Coke. And do you know what? It's okay. And it's like 50p or something, 60p for a bottle. And I normally, well, you can pay up to two pounds depending if you get a deal or not. But yeah, I think it's like 59p for a bottle of Diet Coke. All right, I can get pissed even cheaper now. Mm. Not that the aim is to get pissed, of course, it's simply to have a social drink and relax. Uh, I'm not sure if I said hello to Heather already, so hello, Heather. Hi, Heather. Um, Fragdicted says I have to watch the Tiger King. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I put my Netflix thing on, and I did have dramas because A, I couldn't remember my password, then I needed to sign up to pay for it, and then I couldn't remember my PayPal password, and then I got all stressed. So um, the telly stayed in the front room, ignored for a day while I had a hump with it because of password issues. I hate passwords. Abs fucking loopy hate passwords. Anyway, as soon as I finally got logged on to Netflix, the Tiger King thing was was like, woo, in your face, of course. And I'd seen Super Daycob reviewed it. He reviewed Tiger King as a documentary. And he, it, it seems in his impression it's not that great and it's only doing well because everyone's stuck indoors. And also, I didn't even know it was about tigers. I didn't know what it was about. And now I know that it's about real life stuff and, and sad things about animals being kept in captivity. I don't think I want to watch it. I know everyone's saying you should. I don't know if I will. I like British dramas. I really like British dramas. I like thrillers, anything with mystery when you're like, what's gonna happen? Oh my God, I think I know what's gonna happen and all of that. I like that. True crime, love true crime. I don't love it because obviously it's 
uh, it horrifies me. But uh, yeah, I like watching it. Um, yeah, I, can you get films on Netflix? I guess you can. John says, Claire, how bloody tanned are you? Have you secretly moved to Spain? Yeah, do you know what I did? Despite not being allowed to go to Italy, I just got on a flight anyway, and I'm in Italy. <laughs> uh, Barry's got a cup of tea. What do you do, Barry, that has you working this time of night? Uh, Gerland Mann says, sex education is great. I think you're talking about a show on Netflix because I saw that and I was going to watch that because that's British, isn't it? So I'll probably watch that. And Liz is trying to avoid Tiger King, worried I'll see any animal abuse. Yeah, so probably similar reasons to me then. Um, and Peter also says sex education is brilliant and safe. So Tony is saying safe. Okay. Right, I'll check that out. Uh, Broadchurch. I remember starting to watch Broadchurch, Broadchurch when it was on telly going back a few years ago. And then I don't know why, I think I missed one or two episodes. And then I lost it, I lost the plot. And it's kind of got a bit confusing. Sal Beaton. Did you watch Line of Duty? I just finished binge watching them all on iPlayer. Uh, no, I don't know what that is um joss says does anyone know if good omens is on netflix that was really good neil smith says just watched the children frightening 2008 british film see it is it on netflix that's literally all i've got um i don't have i don't even have a tv license so i don't have bbc or itv or anything uh, jim says all three seasons of broadchurch are Fabulous. I think I must have only seen the first one and then not all of it. Uh, Lizzie says Good Omens is amazing. Joss, but I've read the book and know the humour. It was excellent. Joss says another thumbs up for Broadchurch. So I'm going to have to watch this back so that I can read all your comments again and write down all the suggestions. But that means that you won't be seeing me very much because I'll be busy staring at my TV set. That's the only problem with TV. It's, it, it's a, quite a distraction. I forgot how massive a distraction it was. Like literally I had to tear myself away from Netflix to come and talk to you lot. And I don't mean that in detrimental because I, I love talking to you lot. You're the highlight of my day. But Netflix, the way it just throws the next series at you before you even get a chance to think, shall I sit here for another hour? But before you've even thought that, the next one's up and you're like, oh, what's going to happen next? Netflix is mental. It, it should be illegal, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, Sal says, Line of Duty is a crime drama thriller. Okay, that sounds my kind of thing then. And uh, Joss is saying, Michael Sheen is the name of the actor, what a cutie. I think this is about the other show we're talking about, and I've forgotten what that was. <laughs> uh, we have Fragrance Enthusiast in the house. Hello, Fragrance Enthusiast. And you're talking about Casanova 73. That sounds like a histoire de parfum <laughs> perfume, but it's not. It's a film with Leslie Phillips, by the looks of it. Oh, good omens, what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, I will have to watch, I'll have to watch this back just to look at all the different programmes you're talking about so I can start finding them. But yeah, what did I watch? Oh, The Stranger. The Stranger. Who's seen The Stranger? That's what I watched. So I literally watched it in an evening, one evening and one bath. So... I watched the majority of it last night and for hours, literally hours. And then, then I decided to have a bath today and I put it on my phone and watched the final bits in the bath whilst eating half of that packet of crisps that's on the floor at the moment. Yeah, that was quite a nice bath actually, <laughs> watching Netflix. That was new. That's something I've not done before. Um, okay. Uh, Sal said, love the stranger. 
I was so, there was so much going on. I thought, I do not know if I'm ever gonna understand how all these components come together. It was like, whoa, 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 how can this all fit together? And I like that some of it really is connected and some of it's kind of only connected because of the effect that it had on the other thing. Anyway, yeah, it was really good. Uh, Peter got it. Jennifer Saunders wasn't in it for long. Do you know what? I look. I kept looking at her and saying, she's one of those comedian ladies. <laughs> and I was like, who is she? Because she was such a... I didn't know she was a, like a proper actress. She was really good. Yeah, and I was really... I was glad that she died. I thought she was cool. And I wanted her to go off and have that trip with her friend who was a copper. So that was sad. But I hope I haven't ruined it. For anyone that's going to watch it, I'm sure you won't remember. <laughs> this conversation. Mm. So if anyone wants to share your scent of the night, do go ahead. I'm wearing three. So what am I wearing? Uh, one that I'm gonna to talk to you about in a minute, so I'm not gonna tell you what that is. What's that? <laughs> I've forgotten what I'm wearing. What was that? Remember those? I can't remember what I'm wearing. I know what I've got here. That's Alien Essence Absolute. So I'm wearing that there. One of my favourite things to do. Uh, when I was little in the back of the car, being transported somewhere, I'd go, uh, for hours. I'm very easily amused. Um, I actually can't remember. I sprayed two different things. I know what that is. Hmm. My mind is blank. Uh, Tony is wearing Pineapple Sauvage from Pocket Scents. And uh, Centralized is wearing Sacred. Oh, that's a Louis Cardin. Um. Fragrance Enthusiastic says, try Prince of Tides with Nick Nolte and Barbara Streisand. Nice film. Okay. I always mix up Nick Nolte. He's not the guy that fixes homes up, is he? Oh, is it? No, I can't be. Um, Heaven says, I wish more Marvel was on Netflix. Uh, Sal is wearing Chalamar Souffle de Parfum, which is not Souffle, it's Souffle, Souffle, but it's hard to say that when it looks like Souffle. Souffle, Souffle. Peter's not wearing anything today. Peter, you're naked. Why are you naked? Just because it's your birthday, so you're wearing your birthday suit. Heather says, safe is on my list. Watching Border Town now, the chalet is French and subtitled. Uh, Jim's worn three over the course of the day. Bull's Blood by Imaginary Authors. Floss Mortis by Rogue Perfumery. And now music for a while. There's some heavy hitters, I would say, Jimbo. Although I've not heard of the Floss Mortis one. Joss is on her third scent of the day. Are you, oh, if you haven't already said what it is, tell us, Joss. Uh, John Snow, my favourite is the ship one. Barry, can't remember what the heck it was called. Um, Stephen says he's wearing Chanel number no. five parfum, very classy. Neil Smith's wearing sexual healing by Art Meets Art, dirty honey. Mm. Sounds nice. Um, oh. Joss says, one of them is Paco Rabanne Ultra Red. It reminds me of Lolita L. Um, Glowland Man says, pure malt. George would be proud. Yes, he would. And I think that's kind of me mostly caught up. So, um, yes, I can't remember what I'm wearing, which is ridiculous because it wasn't that long ago. 
Hmm. Doesn't smell that familiar. So what on earth did I put on? What on earth am I wearing? Love them. Hmm. I can't remember. Anyway, at least I know what I'm wearing here and here. So that's not bad. But we're not going to argue about that. <laughs> um, oh, Bougie. Hello, Bougie. Um, Isabella is saying ABC for Zoom. I don't know what that means. Um, Jim says Floss Mortis, Flower of Death, Tuberose, Nirvana. Sounds interesting. Fragrance Enthusiast, a couple more films for you, Claire. American Gigolo and Internal Affairs, both with Richard Gere. Okay, some classic, more or more classic-y stuff. Yes, I need. To, I do need to. I'm absolutely useless at films. <laughs> yeah, like old films. I generally don't haven't watched a lot of old films. I never really watched anything that was in black and white. I haven't even seen Breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm just not that film person. It's like more modern stuff that I've I've watched and loved, but I'm not up on it uh, like the average person, definitely not. Uh, centralized, an officer and a gentleman. I'm pretty sure actually, I did see that. Pretty sure I did. Um, have you seen The Breakfast Club? I don't think so. <laughs> oh dear. I'm trying to think of some films that I've seen. I used to watch The Snowman a lot at Christmas, you know, we're walking in the air. Um, not sure that really qualifies. Um, I saw all the 80s films, you know, like Gremlins, um, Mary Poppins and Wizard of Oz, well they're not 80s are they, but um, the Back to the Futures, Oh, um, Police Academy. <laughs> Centralize says, what about weird science? No. Um, Breakfast Club Brack Pack films are awesome. Pretty in pink. Okay. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm no good at any of this. <laughs> I'm out of my league. You lot need to start some sort of film club where you all watch a film together and um, and chat about it. Maybe I should join in so I can learn a bit. Yeah. Some of the stuff I like, I have watched and enjoyed, might not be everyone's taste right then I'm going to just show you some new stuff that I've got new to me stuff um, we'll start with a little eBay bargain this is Paris Yves Saint Laurent and it's the EDP because it's got the gold bit on the top if it was the EDT, I think that would be red. I used to, years ago, have the EDT. I've only ever had the EDT. I used to wear the EDT going back quite a long time and loved it. And kind of recently decided I needed to get some Paris back in my life. And I found this on eBay and it was like three pound or something with postage. The lady advertised it as old you're probably only buying it for the bottle only, giving the impression that it's gone off. But I took a chance because it was cheap. It smelled perfect. And Paris is roses and violets, but a little bit fresh and quite sweet, sweet, flirty, uh, sort of fruity, fruity-ish, but mostly roses and violets, but I've never had the, par the Eau de Parfum and it is slightly different once it dries down. Hard to explain exactly how, but it's not as fresh as the EDT for sure. 
Essentialized. Me and my friends try to make a woman. Oh, this will be that. Um... Oh no, I'm thinking of the mannequin film. Um, so me and my friend tried to make a woman after watching that. Wore the bras on our heads, but we weren't really weren't good enough programmers. Have I told my kids to watch Hurricane Heist? Peter says, never seen that bottle before. Yeah, um, I had one like this. It's like an, would you call it an, um, is it an amulet? What would you call that? It's got a word, isn't it? It's a, there's a word to describe the shape of it. Amp ampule, maybe an ampule. Um, yeah, I think they're, are they 30 mil or are they 15? Maybe 15 or 20. Um, yeah, so that I had one of these before, but it was with the little red bit on the end. Um, yeah, they're so cute, you know, like, like, just fit in your hand, fit in your pocket. Mm. Um... Sorry, just reading your comments. A H is here. It says Weird Science is a movie where the guys try to make a woman. I think I have seen that. Yeah, I think I have seen that. I was mixing it up with mannequin, which is where the mannequin comes alive, isn't it? Um, yes, I'm pretty sure I've seen that probably a couple of times. Uh, Benjamin's here. Hi, Benjamin. Uh, Uh, Robert's here. I'm wait. I'm well late tonight. Claire is still sober too. Evening, everybody. <laughs> That's a little bit rude. You're suggesting that I like. I normally get drunk. So rude. So I was just showing off my latest thing here, which is Paris EDP, and it's gorgeous. But I still can't remember what I'm wearing over here. Whatever it is. Oh, I've lost it. I really don't know. So I'm gonna put some Paris on my on my hand anyway. Barry says, hey Robert, what the hell was that picture you posted today? Yeah, I saw that. I scrolled on by. <laughs> Uh, Eva, there's my favourite Scott. Hi, Robert. Oh, I can't keep up with what you lot are saying to each other. Joss says, is that Balenciaga Paris? No, if uh, it's Yves Saint Laurent Paris. Um, but it's the Eau de Parfum, which is, you don't see it as often. The Eau de Toilette scent tends to be the more one that you see a lot more. But yeah, this is the Yves Saint Laurent Paris EDP and it's very much roses and violets. That's really, really what it is. And it's quite gorgeous. It's almost got that Parma violet aspect to it, which is rather yummy. Uh, Scott's here, Centurion. Um, hi, Scott. Oh, we've got some lovely people in the house today. It's very, very nice. Joss, I love Yves Saint Laurent Paris. I wore it when I was a teen. Same here. I think the first time I ever had it was as a miniature. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. You know, you do a little dab. And you no one else ever smells it on you. But you don't care. Like, you just go, oh, wearing perfume. And it smells like Palma Violets. <laughs> Uh, who's going? Frag Dick, did you say night John boy? Is John going? Or am I missing something? Or are we talking about the Waltons now? <laughs> night John boy! If we're the Waltons then I'm Jim Bob. Night Jim Bob! Night Mary Lou! <laughs> uh... 
uh, Barry says that picture Robert posted couldn't stop laughing but I was disgusted at the same time <laughs> uh, yeah he was naughty very naughty right then so uh, I'm gonna move on to another fragrance uh, actually two no I'm gonna have a drink So, um, let's do, I did an unboxing, but just in case you didn't watch it, naughty naughty if you didn't, uh, here's something else I've got that's new, it's La Perla, La Mia Perla is the name of the fragrance, I've got this box set, cheap-ish, uh, about £25, £26, and it came with, if I can get in it, I can't. Um, Barry saying the box and the bottle are so cool. Yeah, they really are. So there they are together. I see the body lotion there and the perfume here. Somehow got a cat hair on it. How nice is that bottle? So it's kind of like solid and indented at the back and it's clear and indented at the front. Mm. Oh, it's kind of smoky actually, which I never thought before. Yeah, it smells like um, a very lightly smoky, sweet benzoin type fragrance. I can't remember the notes now. I think it's, is it jasmine? It's very creamy, very clean. A little bit smoky, almost slightly orangey. Like an orange blossom or something. But creamy, soapy, clean quite nice but I found when I tried it the other day didn't seem to project for very long at all it was even after spraying loads within an hour or so I wasn't really noticing it too much so I mean I need to give it a proper full wearing but it smells really nice but I'm not sure if performance is good enough to really bother with but um, I need to do it proper I need to give it a full wearing and really check it out because I, I don't want to write it off just yet um, um, uh, yes so <laughs> sorry getting distracted if you haven't shared your scent of the night, don't forget you need to do that. And if you're watching and you haven't said hello, you do need to sign the register. It's part of health and safety. It's a requirement of our little group here that we all say hello. Don't be shy. <laughs> Zai Gilbert says, my cat's name is Claire Flufferkins Zyla. Love that. Claire Flufferkin Zyla. What do you call her for short? Uh, Benjamin's wearing Davidoff Silver Shadow. Jon Snow says, oopsie, pocket scent to raspberry vanilla. I think I've got a little sample of a prototype of that that Dan left with me. Um, and it's really nice actually. It reminds me a little bit of Lipstick Rose from Frederick Ma. Um, Scott's wearing Molinard Oud Magnetique not heard of that one Isabel says I have two dogs the first one is Prince and the second one is Stitch Prince and Stitch lovely 
predicted is doing a review tomorrow. Um, and Liz is wearing Cloud's Illusion. Yay! <laughs> Okay, I'm struggling tonight, sorry. <laughs> um, AH, sent the day, Rocha's moustache EDP took almost a year before I was able to order it. It's always out of stock. And how are you liking it? Are you loving it? <laughs> uh, Robert's wearing Dendera, gorgeous scent. Isabella, your cat in the background looks so cute. <laughs> She is, she's funny, that one. So she centralized, it's more like Perry Ellis Red, Tony. John Snow says, Tony, I might work through the night to beat you. Only kidding. Um, okay. Uh, Tony has to work through the night to edit. Mm, bloody hell. That's a uh, dedication for you. Fragrance Enthusiastic, wear a good old Dracar Noir. AH likes Rocha's moustache. It smells like Yves Saint Laurent tuxedo, but costs a lot less. That's good then. Ooh. Isabella, I have a question for you. That's dubious. Carry on, no promises. <laughs> Zaya says, oh, what's your cat's name? Well, I call her Sweetie. Her official name, registered um, officially and at the vets and all that, is Pussy Galore, which was kind of started as a joke but just stuck. So if I take her to the vets, they they will say Pussy Galore Sprigmore, <laughs> and but basically she's Sweetie. So if I go Sweetie, there you see she knows her name. She knows. Isabella, how many pets do you have? That is it, and that is all I need. You're all I need, aren't you, sweetie? She's such a good girl. She's so sweet. Such a happy cat. Yeah, I couldn't have another um, couldn't have another animal. She'd be so jealous, wouldn't you? Do you want me to move this perfume away from your store? You've got more space then, haven't you? <laughs> Peter says, oh my God, pussy galore, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, she is about, uh, Isabella, she is about 11 now. Um, Robert says, oh Claire, you have a surprise coming to you and I haven't written anything this time. Hmm. Don't know what that means. I'll keep my eye out, I'll be careful, I'll, I'll be on full alert for stink bombs coming at me or whatever. Jim, I never knew sweet is real name. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it's pussy galore. Uh, Isabella, how's quarantine been? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been all right actually. Um, I mean, I still have to go to work. I've got two weeks off now though, so I'm in my, I'm at the end of my first week off work. It's not been too bad. I mean, the only difference is not being able to meet Obviously not been able to meet up with friends. And apart from that, it's kind of it's made me get on with more stuff at home, a bit of tidying. Uh been out apart from today, I had just a bit of half an hour on my exercise bike, but I've been out every day on my bike or walking at least an hour, sometimes two. So that's been really good. Because the weather was nice, but the weather today it was alright in the morning. I sat in the garden in the morning. Hence a little bit of a tan, just in my white bits. <laughs> um, but then it all, I was thinking I'll go out for my exercise in the afternoon, but it, the weather was horrible. It got really windy and it didn't happen. Had a bath instead. Had a bath with Netflix. Uh, Wayne Morris, hello. I love Pussy Galore. My cats are Romeo, Courgette and MJ. That is so random. <laughs> that is so random. Robert says, did I get my TV? Yes, that's why we were talking about Netflix because I got it, it arrived on Wednesday. I ignored it on Wednesday because setting it up was a pain in the ass. And finally set it up 
the next day and so last night ended up staying up really late watching The Stranger pretty much almost the whole lot in almost in one go um yes I got a tv now <laughs> yay Heather has a kizzy girl and Lily as a cat trio Isabella I mean you're pretty lucky because you still get the money you need to pay your home and stuff god bless you you're so pretty <laughs> Oh, thank you. I, honestly, I absolutely count my blessings. I would much rather be going to work than stressing over the money issues of not being able to go to work. So completely, so pleased I get to go to work and um, not facing those issues. I know many of you are, um, which must be really stressful. So yeah, very lucky for that. Uh, Awo says, cook me mummy. Um, <laughs> I think, yeah. Uh, Robert says, people say a pain in the ass means you aren't doing it right. What do you mean, Robert? Uh, Lizzie says, I tried Bounder Freak today, my first by Rido. Wow, it's an amazing fragrance. I really didn't like that one, Lizzie, actually. And I think I don't like marigolds. So I think Val d'Afrique, is that marigolds or tagettes? Um, every time I've smelt anything with marigold or tagette, I really don't like it. And my mum has marigolds at her house in France and I actually, actually, I got to smell them and I didn't like the smell of the flowers. So that kind of makes sense. And there's a... Um, Who's that singer off Savage Garden? Adam Levine, he's got a fragrance. Someone sent me a sample of it and it's got marigold as a note and I oh, really don't like it. So I have an issue with marigold. Um, and Jim says, I love Bowder Freak. Fragrance Enthusiast says, Savage Garden singers Darren Hayes. All right then, so it's another crap group. <laughs> Who does Adam Levine sing for? Um, yeah, so someone will know. Um, oh, Heather says, yes, Claire, about Rich. Um, yeah, I've, uh, Rich was actually in Peter's, he was, I think he was in, he was in Peter's chat after we decided he was missing and then he responded to my email after that as well and said he's just having a bit of bit of trouble it didn't really go into detail but he wasn't he hadn't had a he'd had a few bad days but he said it was okay so um he said it's all right um uh, robert says dundee's full of touch tars touch tars uh, Maroon 5, yes, sorry, mixing up my high-pitched crappy bands, <laughs> sorry if there's any fans, <laughs> um, yeah, Maroon, the Maroon 5 singer, Adam Levine, his fragrance, that uh, I really didn't like it, but I think that's Marigold, I think Marigold is, is my nemesis, or one of them. Benjamin says, loving silver shadow, a musky grey patchouli and a mellow saffron. Fragrance phrase, hoots, toots, love from Dundee, Scotland, hoots, toots, hello. Uh, Jim says, thanks for checking in on him. That's all right, I've got his email address, so um, always worry if you don't see Rich in the live stream. He's normally, he's normally present and correct. John says, send him our love. I like to think he might watch back some of the lives and, and see that people are concerned about him. A.H. Rose and Jones also get by Rido Mojave Ghost. Love them both. I need to retry that one because that sounds really nice. And I've, I just smelt it very, very briefly amongst many other things. And that is no way to smell stuff. And Z Gilbert says, have you heard of Rascal Flats? Nope. <laughs> sound like shoes. Um, 
Go Landman, have you had any encounters with nature recently on your walks? Um, so my last walk ended up just being around the streets because I kind of like left it too late in the day. That was yesterday and I was really tired. Um, so there was no nature, <laughs> nature incidents at all because it was just the streets. Um, prior to that, I was on my bike. Did a couple of bike rides this week. Um, nothing major to report, saw lots of, lots of lovely bluebells, lots of squirrels, all that kind of stuff. Um, Wang says to Benjamin, thanks Benjamin, oh, da, 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 da. Robert says, is everybody watching the Mountbatten Royal Marines Band in virtual reality tomorrow on YouTube? didn't know about that one we'll look into it i think um i think at this i'm sure it's probably from tonight onwards on youtube you can watch phantom of the opera i think they're screening or streaming uh or it might be phantom of the opera one of the big west end shows you can watch for free on youtube uh from london or, or something i don't know obviously not live but pre-recorded um Joss, I need to run y'all. Have a wonderful weekend. Nice to see you, Joss. Thanks for popping by. Um, ben says, is it spring where you are, Claire? Do you change your fragrance wardrobe? It is spring now, yeah. It's been kind of nice. Uh, a bit, not today so much, but uh, it started to feel a bit summery almost. And I haven't really changed my fragrance wardrobe too much. I wore a fresh one. I think I want a couple of freshies. I still wear my favourite. So Whispers in the Library is getting a lot of use still. Uh, was I wore Mon Precious Nectar on my walk the other day, which I wear all year round. But it does have a bit of a spring feel, Mon Precious Nectar. Um, but yeah, I'm not really reaching for anything too springy yet. Still, still wearing a lot of my favourite, heavier, sort of like vanillic, on type fragrances I will when it gets really warm I'll wear freshies during the day at least um, fragrance enthusiast says is Michael Crawford still in fandom of the opera I don't know <laughs> probably um, we'll find out if you go on YouTube I think that it should be on there um, Robert says, a lot coming up on YouTube. Looking forward to seeing Royal Marine Band as Cinema Live in Edinburgh too. They were class. Sal says, what are your top three favourite perfumes just now? So I am constantly reaching for Whispers in the Library. So that is definitely current favourite. Another one I really love is Ellie Saab's Essence One Rose. I, keep, I reach for that quite a lot, even if it's just like bed scent. I really love how it dries down. It's absolutely stunning. Even though it's fairly simplistic, there's something about it. The dry down is slightly vanillic, sort of ambery, a little bit labdanum, um, not just rose. I mean, it's rose all the way through, but the dry down is just gorgeous. So what else do I wear a lot? Mm. And I kind of change change i'm not as stuck on anything else what else have i worn what have i worn more than a few times recently I'm trying to think can't remember <laughs> um oh my insolence my insolence is always i wear that several times every single week yeah that so that's pretty much my signature scent AH says whispers in the library smells nice, doesn't last on me. I really that's really hard for me to understand because it lasts ridiculously well on me. So yeah, it's really hard to get how it can be so different on someone else. Have you checked other people? Have you asked if anyone can smell it on you? I wonder if you know if it's a more of a nosmia. But yeah, for me it, it lasts really well. <laughs> 
Wayne says, question Claire, did Dan get his Golan uh, co du coq out? I don't believe he did. Pretty sure he didn't. Well, if he did, it was after we switched off the connection. <laughs> oh. Fragrance phrase, do you make lots of money having a YouTube channel? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you're major, majorly successful, you could probably earn a living from it, but I don't think as a sole income, even if you had millions of followers, you're really going to be living the high life, I don't think. I, but I, I don't know. So I'll be honest with you, because, because my money is currently being donated to Happy Ending Rescue, which is a local rescue charity, uh, at the moment, the way that from, so I've got just under 5,000 subscribers. My average watches on a video are probably three, somewhere between three and 500 views. So I'm very small. I probably get paid only every, every, maybe t every two months, somewhere between 60 and 120 pounds. So you would make more money working down your local co-op if you're looking at the hourly rate of putting out videos, editing them, and then sort of reading comments and, and all, you know, everything that is involved in it. You are better off working in a shop. <laughs> but um, if you see it as a bonus and nothing more, then yeah. And I think if you have if you're good and you know what you're doing and you're passionate and you have ambition that you can have spin-offs and sponsorships and all that kind of stuff and that's probably more where the money comes from but if you're just um everyday normal um everyday normal person is just quite small and sharing their hobby then no of course you're not going to make a living from it or oh. ask someone else i mean everyone's different uh, Lizzie says whispers last a long time on me I definitely lean very peppery too which I love yes it is quite peppery I do love pepper so that's probably why I love it um, but it's a vanilla I think that I really love no I love everything about it <laughs> and it's Lizzie's fault that I got into it and I'm really glad I absolutely love it Raw says you must tell people to hit the like button <laughs> Yes, smash the like button, people, because Happy Ending Rescue will benefit if my video gets more views, any shares, comments, likes, all that stuff goes up the rankings a little bit more. More people might end up watching it and then the ad revenue will go up slightly and that will help the animals get fed, I guess, get fed and rude. <laughs> um, yeah, centralised. The charity sounded like a massage parlour. <laughs> yes, a happy ending is uh, is definitely a, a bit of a euphemism. Um, Fragrance enthusiast would make more money on the rock and roll. Yep, you would. Uh, minimum wage is better. <laughs> uh, Fragrance phrase, what's your profession? I work for a water company, so I'm in the control room and... I look at on screens and monitor screens for alarms that come in for a reservoir. I look at reservoirs, look at treatment works, uh, the chlorination and all the different chemicals. If they if things go too high, too low, if anything fails, machinery fails, uh, all that kind of stuff. You have to monitor it and decide if you need to send someone out or if it can wait till the morning. It's really fascinating. <laughs> uh, raw don't say it like that though are, are we talking about happy endings <laughs> um yeah happy ending rescue they're in faversham in kent so i'm in where am i i'm in rochester so faversham's about 20 be like 25 minute drive from here um and they rescue all sorts of different animals there so i need to probably find out a little bit more but um 
yeah, just waiting for my money to build up. So I've got a little bit of money now in my AdSense. And so once, when you've got money in your AdSense, once it goes above £60, then that means you will get a payout on the 21st of the month. So let's say you've got £60 in your AdSense on the 15th of the month, then anything extra that goes in up until the 21st will get added to that and then it goes out into your bank account on the 21st. So that's why I don't get a payment every month because I don't go up above £60 every single month. So I'm, my payments are more like every other month or, or something like that. Um, Barry says it's a good charity Claire well done thank you I wanted to do something I think all at the moment all the charities no matter what they are going to suffer because obviously all the charity shops are closed they can't go out and fundraise this, um, and yeah I mean with everything that's going on in the world it's a tiny little thing one little tiny thing that I can do that just makes me feel a little bit better about things Oh, it's not massive, but if we all do a little something here and there, it could make a difference. Um, Lizzie, well done Claire, it's a wonderful thing to give to Animal Rescue. Best money I spend each month is for those causes, apart from perfume of course. <laughs> of course. Fragrance phrase, what's your favourite fragrance house? Well, I'd say Galan is probably my number one. And then the Indies, I've got a few of the Indies that I really love, 4160 Tuesdays and Papillon probably, Pip, Pip, all of them. Um, uh, but I do love a lot of the Indies. I love Zoologist and Francesca Bianchi. I like the really, the well thought out, well crafted fragrances. Uh, <laughs> Tony says, Claire, I wouldn't be trusted with a blue spanner. Why do you think that? Tony, why do you think you can't be trusted with a spanner? What are you going to do? Um, Jim says, trying to make at least one donation to an arts group every paycheck. That's really nice, Jim. Tony, oh look, you've got a spanner. What are you going to do with it now? Are you going to are you going to silence John? You and John Snow can have a, a a battle with your with your spanners. Ah, what's a spanner? It's special powers. Ah, special magic powers. Uh, Rose and Jane says, "I'd love to visit for once it's Tuesdays once all this is done." Plus the sixth floor of Harrods. Blimey, someone hide my credit cards. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, if you feel brave and you want to meet up and do all that stuff, Lizzie, we have, we have, you can have a couple of Jack Daniels first and we'll go and do it. Definitely. Because um, Sarah is always happy to have guests at her studio, so I'm sure she'll be happy for us to come along. Uh, I was actually supposed to visit just before all of this kicked off, but um, it was literally, it wasn't lockdown, but... The pandemic was has crept up on us quite badly and I was supposed to go to see uh, Sarah at the studio and I had a bit of a problem where I couldn't I couldn't walk when I walked I had some sort of pain inside <laughs> so um, I didn't go because I just wasn't feeling very good um, <laughs> uh, so if we've got some sort of battle going on <laughs> Tony have you put John in time out John where are you <laughs> oh my god Tony you're so naughty John has been silent Oh, poor John. Yeah, let's do it, Lizzie. Once all this shit's over, 
we'll go to London and do Sixth Floor Harrods and 4160s. Maybe Joe Voy. Uh, Meal 20 wants a boyfriend. Anyone want to be Jill's boyfriend? Meal, sorry, Meal. Uh, <laughs> hashtag release John. <laughs> Uh, Christy, what did I stumble into? I don't even know. Uh, I gave Tony a spanner and he's immediately abused his powers. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Hashtag free John. <laughs> uh, Barry says, can milk it? Mill, can you cook? Because Barry might be interested. Uh, AH wants to know if Mill's a 20 year old millionaire. Um, Mill just says, yeah, who wants to be my boyfriend? Uh, I don't think Mill's a 20 year old millionaire. Lizzie says, my spanner doesn't have the power to out spanner. Tony's spanner. I wonder if I can out spanner. Let's see. Um, so John's been timed out for 300 seconds. Um, I don't know if I can do anything about that. Here we go. Mm. I don't think I can undo what Tony's done. So we just have to wait for John to come back. Uh, Jim Clare's live streams turning into live Tinder. <laughs> Christy says she needs wine. Get wine. Get wine quick. I've not got wine. It's um, it's my usual. Mm. Tony can't unfree him. Oh, poor John. <laughs> Calling me a madam. Yeah, I'm um instigating all of this i'll just take my cut i'll let you know my paypal <laughs> free john john where are you john snow are you still here come back everything's forgiven john snow is always in the cold <laughs> Wayne says, hashtag Claire, pimping you out. <laughs> Barry saying, meal, wait a while, John is the right guy for you. Yeah, yeah, wait for John to come back, meal. Could be, could be right up your street. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting, says meal. <laughs> oh, I see now, do you know what? It's only just occurred to me why... A.H. says, is, is Mill a 20-year-old millionaire? And I get that now, because I'm a bit slow. Mm. So while we wait for Jon Snow to come back, I've got a couple more things to smell. So I was hoping Alexander might join us because she actually sent me something. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, come back to this one in this second but Alexander sent me a decant of Le Parfum by Lalique and I tried it yesterday and uh, we'll come back to that one though because I've got a couple more other stuff to talk about <laughs> like Liz is lighting the way for John Barry says no it's a 20 stone guy from the mill <laughs> Christy got a new fragrance in the mail Louis Vuitton Contre Moi lovely floral vanilla scent very nice has anyone else tried it no I haven't sounds lovely I like a floral vanilla uh, Mill 20 says thanks for giving me hope yeah yeah hold on for John John's the guy aka scented snowdrop no, don't, John doesn't care how rich you are. He's from the council estate. It's pretty rough where he's from, actually. <laughs> and he's up north, you know, so. 
<laughs> John Snow, where are you? It's got to be more than 300 seconds now, isn't it? I think he might be scared. Maybe he's a bit scared, Mill. <gasps> there he is. John, we're pimping you out. Mill, meet John. John Mill. <laughs> right, Tony, leave John alone. <laughs> <laughs> Mill was saying hi John I'm in love oh this is lovely oh my god we can get a couple together yay he's back says Lizzie oh John we missed you <laughs> Jim yeah hope we're all invited to the wedding hashtag John's back Rose and Jones John like totally missed you <laughs> John says, um, hey Mill, I'm a monk, I'm afraid. Nah, pretty sure you're not, John. <laughs> oh wow, this is our first um relationship, live stream coupling. Yeah, John, uh John, what are you wearing for the wedding? Uh oh factory records, Mill, are you a man? I don't think John minds one way or the other from what I understand <laughs> oh my god Mill is women oh so several so that's um plural so John I think you've really lucked out there because not just one woman Wayne says, is Mill really Mr. Smelly's troll account? Is he fishing? <laughs> John, you got your work cut out, mate. You've got uh, several women. <laughs> right, I'm going to talk about some new stuff. Maybe it's really you, Jean, says Jin. Barry says, what, Mill, what fragrance would you wear on a date with John? It's important you get this right. Uh, Mill 20 is now saying she's a bit special. That's fine. John's very open-minded. Um, what fragrance would you wear on a date with John Mill? Uh, Mill 20, lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. Well, that's a very nice fragrance. John, do you like that one? Okay, I'm going to talk about this one here. This is Fern Mayo off of Ganache Parfums. So Ganache had a sale which they advertised on Instagram. Quite a strong sale, like 50% off or something. And I have tried Ganache um, samples before and I did find them a little bit samey, quite little, all quite sweet, biscuity, um, very linear type sweet scents, but nice. Oh, Benjamin's off, buy a scented tar. Um, John says he only dates women who wear brute. <sighs> Uh, Lizzie <laughs> has been trying to get a bit of Ferrero Rocher out of her teeth for ages and realised it's a foil. Oh, Lizzie, are you on the Jack Daniels by any chance? <laughs> JC Russell's got a new cologne, do tell. Fragrance enthusiast, what country is Ganache from? They're in the States, somewhere in the USA. Um... Okay, so this one's called Fern Mayo. I do not like the name because I'm thinking of mayonnaise, which is not something I want in a fragrance ever. I don't really want it on my plate to eat either. I'm not a massive fan of mayonnaise. No. But the notes of this got me. 
and I can't remember what they were, but when I sprayed it, it's a violet bomb. Um, fragrance enthusiastic. I had the same, exactly the same revulsion as you, Claire. Um, what to mayonnaise? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not following. Um, Fern Britain's mayo. I don't know what that was all about. Um, oh, the mayonnaise, yeah. Um, yeah, the name is really not appealing, but when I looked up the notes, and I can't remember what they are, except that there's a massive load of violet in here, I really wanted to try it. And at 50% off, or whatever it was, it's a 50 ml extract of half balm. Um, and the second I sprayed it, I'm gonna spray it in the air. Ooh. Okay, let me tell you how it how it arrives actually, because that's kind of important. When it arrives in the post, it's just got a little black lid on it, and the sprayer arrives separately, and you have to assemble it yourself. So it comes with a little black lid on it. I don't know why I need to show you this. It comes with a little black lid on it, like that and then you put the sprayer on yourself. Um, it's very basic, it's quite cheap. It doesn't look that great. It, the color of the sprayer and the lid doesn't really match anything on the bottle. You can't pick it up by the lid at all. Like it's really, really loose. Some people care about that, that's why I'm telling you. So Fern, is Fern Mayo is a person, is it? Um, I've got perfume in my mouth from when I sprayed that, but it actually tastes a little bit like the violet scent that it is. Uh, Girl and Man says people who have chips with mayo should leave now. I'm not sure they need to leave, but I'm not going to be able to agree with them. I think chips and mayos, it's a bit dated anyway, isn't it? Hi, karate is great. Fern Mayo changed, hated her name, changed it to Violet. Okay, so I'm guessing Fern Mayo is a real person because that's why this now smells like violet. Um, I can't keep up with what's going on here. <laughs> you lot, I really actually don't know what's going on. This, the, the stuff that's going on in this conversation. Lizzie says my cat just winked at me. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, Heather says, how's Wookie to Lizzie? Um, and AH says, that's how CK1 shot comes with the sprayer separate. I remember I got a, a, a Calvin Klein ages ago. I can't remember which one it was going back quite a long time. Uh, and the sprayer came separate and it was one of the... I think it was CK1, just CK1. Um, yeah, it was one of the unisex one. That sprayer came separate. Um, John Pathway says, presentation sounds similar to the LR Couvent de Minimis. Yes, they can come with um, separate sprayers. Lizzie says, a cat's good, it's mending well, that's good. Um, John says, doesn't that mean I love you from a cat if the cat winks at you? I think it, it needs to blink, like both eyes. Like, who sits there blinking at their cats trying to make them blink back? I know, I know you do it, I bet you do it, Lizzie. I bet you do. We all do it, I reckon. 
Oh, Tammy's here. Tammy! Tammy! <laughs> oh, good to see you, Tammy. Cheers. I'll wash this perfume down. Mm. I don't think anyone's really here to talk about fragrances. Like, that's the impression I'm getting, which is fine, by the way. Um, Lizzie says she always winks at her cats and all animals, puts them at ease. It takes bloody long enough for him to reciprocate. Cats have that third eyelid. Oh, yeah, they have the one that goes across. Yeah. John says, of course, but she stares me out. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't tried blinking at Sweetie for a while. Listen to her. She's so sweet. Barry says, the worst thing to do is smile at animals and show your teeth. I've not heard that one. Scott says, my cat winks at me, then shortly after, his litter tray needs attention. <laughs> at least he lets you know. Uh, Liz says, any stressed animal will appreciate a wink. It lets them know you're not the predator. Sweetie knows I'm not a predator. I would have eaten her a long time ago if I was. John says, does the fern mayo have any similarities to any of the violet range, e.g. Nue Bleu Tanagra? Um, the only one it has a very, a, a very, very slight uh, link to is the Pupra d'Orton because that is a violet fragrance and fern mayo is extremely violet. I can't remember the notes, but was that spray there? That was Paris, wasn't it? Still can't remember what I put there. Doesn't matter. Right. Um, what I noticed with this is it instantly reminded me of. Oh, what's the brand? Uh, there's a designer line that I used to own. I used to own a fragrance called just called Violet, was it? and it was the higher end of the line. Was it, it wasn't Yves Saint Laurent? Oh, I can't remember. There was a tuberose and a violet, and it came in a really pale purple lilac colour bottle. Um, and it was pure violet. And it kind of reminded me of that, but it's sharper. It's a little bit sharper. It's not like Insolence, which is another really strong violet, because Insolence has got that hairspray thing this doesn't have hairspray it's like full on palmer violet but it's dead like it's full on like in your face but when it dries down you can smell some iso -E super and it does have other stuff it's got that kind of cherry cherry-ish aspect to it that violet perfumes can have and in terms of Maison Violet, it's closest to Poupre d'Orton. All the other Maison Violets are actually not very violet at all. I don't think there's violet in any of the others. But Poupre d'Orton is a kind of like a chalky violet with a hint of cherry. And I can't remember how exactly how it goes, but it's, it's a very much proper perfume like a really nice well-crafted french perfume you can it's kind of subtle in a way i wish it was a little stronger but it's really beautiful very chalky this is more bombastic on the violet it still has a bit of chalkiness and a little bit of cherryness so it's it's got things in common with putre putre d'orton but this doesn't feel as well crafted if that makes sense
Uh, Tiny says, just so you all know, I already brushed my teeth, but Liz's comment has made me open the Ferrero Rocher egg. The egg is the same as the sweets. Very nice. I'm going to eat something now. What have I got? Uh, I've got some, I've got some after eight chocolates out there. I've already had a few though. Um, oh, Versace. Yes, fragrance enthusiast. Thank you. Yeah, it's Versace, um, the couture one, violet. Really lovely, but quite a simplistic violet. This is, as soon as I sprayed it, it reminded me of that. So that's the closest thing I can get to it. But these are, well, that's a, a lot cheaper. The Versace is like 200 quid or something. And that was on the sale. I think I got both bottles. So the other, I've got another bottle. I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. I think I got both bottles for around about $50. So pretty good. Um, so I bought Insolence EDP recently without trying. Not sure I'm a fan, unfortunately. Maybe need to give it another chance. It's just so strong of violet and lots of powderiness. Mm. I like it. I do really like it because I love violet, but... For some reason, it's not one that I wanted to keep when I had, I had the EDT, but um, I bought my mum the EDP because she loves Violet as well. So I think I've inherited that love of Violet from my mum. But for me, it wasn't quite right. It's that sharp hairspray note in the opening, I think. Um. A fragrance phrase have you ever bought anything from fragrance x i don't think so because i think they are based in the states and i tend to avoid i try to avoid purchasing from america unless i have to because there's always that risk of getting the customs charges which can sometimes be more expensive than the actual product that you bought mm. John says, makes perfect sense, going to reach for my Maison Violet samples to check on Poop Red or Tom. Yeah, if you like Violet, then I really love that one. I think it's really nice. Very classic yet modern at the same time. It just smells like a really nice, proper fragrance. Right then. Uh, so I've got another one from Ganache Parfums. Leche y galletas. I think that's how you say it. Galletas. Which I believe is milk and biscuits. And I sprayed that one over here. Earlier. I feel like it's worn off quite quickly actually. So I'm, gonna, well, I'm not going to spray it on because that's the cat just there. So... <laughs> It's right over here. Now I've got this one because of the notes, which I'm pretty sure had almond in them. Uh, Lizzie says, what's the top frag on your wish list? I don't know. Um, I definitely want to get MDCI Sheep Palatant, but I've got two reasonable size sort of travel spray decant things, so it's not massive rush. I want to use up the decants, but then I don't use them very much because I don't have that much of them, and it's such a special fragrance that I tend not to wear it. I just want to wear it when I go out, and I don't, and even when I do go out, I don't wear it that often. <laughs> but Sheep Palatant is definitely on my wish list. Um, I wanted to get a Tat Libre d'Orange Rossi Del Palma Odour Protection. That was on my list, but that's on there as a, if I get a bargain. If I see a bargain, I'll grab it. It's a really nice rose fragrance. I don't think there's anything I'm desperately after at the moment that I can think of. There's lots on the to try list. So I've got quite a few samples on the way, which you'll know about some of them. 
Okay, um, Pepper says notes coffee, perhaps. Uh, Sal says almond is one of my favorite notes in fragrances. Yeah, me too. Love, I love almond. That's probably why I got this one. Um, so to me, this smells like it's you know, those Italian biscuits, right? I can't remember what they're called. Um, I'm not sure if they're biscotti, the ones that are round, so they're round. So imagine I've got a round biscuit and it's domed, so it's like slightly wider in the middle than it is at the sides, and it's slightly soft in the center. And you get miniature ones with your coffee in some cafes, usually the Italian type cafes. Um, Rose and Jones says, I hear so much about Chic Palatin. Those bottles are so beautiful, especially with the bus. Yes, they are. Chic Palatin is amazing. I've tried a few from MDCI and I've got the Cho Cho Sun sample coming, which I think you do as well. We'll see what that one's like. Um, but the only one so far that I really love is Chic Palatin. And that's not one I ever planned to try. It's only because I placed an order with Joe Boy and they sent me a sample extra that I didn't ask for of Chic for Palatin. And I didn't love it immediately because it's it's got about a million notes all screaming at, at you at once when you first spray it. And it's like it's quite almost Chanel number no. five old fashioned, but very quickly everything all melts together and it's like whoa. I think if you like Bengal Rouge. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like if you'd like Bengal Rouge, that you would really like it. Um, if you know that you like Labdanum, then you're definitely going to like it. That The Labdanum really comes through once it's been on your skin sort of half an hour or so. It's sticky and lovely and mm, love it. Um, Macaroons, no, um, not macaroons. Uh, so it's a pale be beige colour. I'm sure, I think it's biscotti. I could be wrong. Um, you can buy you can buy them in a bag, like bag, and you know, like the top bit would be tied up with a uh, one of those things you have to unscrew, you know. Um, so it's nutty almond almost marzipan like um but definitely smells biscuity a little bit spicy as well like gin maybe slightly gingery too mm. it's utterly delicious but i don't know if you get more than a few hours out of it before it's kind of like skin scent but i don't care i mean for the price i don't care it's a fun fragrance Oh, what I did, Amaretti Biscuits, yes, Fragrance Enthusiastic, you, okay, and I keep calling you, <laughs> I keep calling you enthusiastic, um, you are there, every time I can't find the right word, you're there with it, Amaretti Biscuits, yes, um, and in the dry down, it starts to get milky, which I guess is where the Olechi comes from, so it's, you get your biscuits to start with, and then it, you follow up with the milk. And it's good. Uh, Isabella says, I have a question. What, another one? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Tammy's wearing Proxima right now, she says to Lizze. So lizze has got a thing for Proxima, I think. I've only got the sample that was pre-reformulated. And I understand there's a bit of a difference, so... I'm not sure. I need to try the the, the new one. Um, it's better. Could I maybe become a moderator? If so, thanks a lot. Um, right. If you, as long as you behave yourself, Isabella, <laughs> I will make you a moderator. Uh, here we go. That's it. You've got a spanner, Isabella. Use it wisely. 
Um, Tammy says, yes, I love it. Less grapefruit. Yeah, I did. I think I did find it a bit too fruity. Um, but I've only worn it a couple of times and I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I love it enough. I really want the bottle because it's blue, like it's sapphire blue. Stunning. Um, but I know what I'm like and I, sometimes I on a whim buy something and then don't reach for it, then I get this anxiety that I've spent money on something that is not getting any use and I feel shit about having too much stuff. So I'm trying to hold, I'm holding back at the moment. Uh, AH says, are you calling a wrench a spanner? I'm calling a spanner a spanner, but you lot call it wrench. Um, Isabella, okay, I only use it on people who are sending hate and or being disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean if it's mild, let it go. We can all have a laugh and then if um, if anyone's offended, they can let, they can kind of shout. Um, John, Proxima definitely leans more feminine, very sweet, fruity, not quite what I expected for my taste. Perhaps being a male, gender is definitely more interesting and unique. Yeah, John, so far, Dendera is my favourite. Gaia I liked, but it's not my style because it's a bit green. But I did enjoy it and I found that chalkiness really sexy that you get with it. That I, I don't know if it's iris, ambergris. That chalky aspect to it was really nice, but I really like Dendera. I really enjoy Dendera. And I quite like layering, so not layering directly on top, but I might wear one of my rose fragrances. So um, Ellie Sub's Rose, Essence Rose Number One, whatever it's called. I might wear that all like around here. And then I might do one spray of Dendera there just to give spice and smoke to it. I quite like doing that. Or Whispers in the Library, I'll wear a lot of that and then one spray of Dendera just to, yeah, to make it more niche and a little bit more exciting, a little bit more interesting. Tammy loves Dendera too. Scott says, actually, everyone seems well behaved tonight. <laughs> Yeah, even me. <laughs> and Lizzie says, when I sprayed Proxima from my sample, my husband tried to lick my neck. I'm not even joking. Wow. <laughs> and did he find out that perfume does not taste good? Uh, Tammy says, Dendera grew on me a lot. Yeah, I mean, I would say I liked it when I first smelt it, but I didn't know that I needed to buy it from the first, from the get-go. That took... A few wears really. Um, yeah, we're all being rather tame, aren't we? Um, oh, Lizzie's saying Lolita Land was a very synthetic peach scent, very young and youthful, pleasant. Yeah, I was curious about Lolita Land when it came out, was it a year or so ago? Because it's Francis Kirk Dijan, isn't it? And I think it's Francis Kirk Dijan. Could correct me if I'm wrong. And I thought, oh, well, it's going to be amazing. Or is it Anik Monado? Oh, I don't know. Um, but it it was exciting. <laughs> and, yeah, I hate peach, so I doubt I'd like it. Um, okay. You hear the rain on my roof. Right, I've only got one more thing left to smell. Just going back to the biscuit one. So, Lecce e, Lecce e Galletas. Um, it's really nice actually, if you like almond. Because what I noticed as well is I got um, like a crunchy caramel, you know? Uh, sometimes chefs make 
a layer of thin caramel which they might ha like hammer and crack. Um, I always get a little bit of that, like it's almost got that crunch to it. So it started off like an uh, almondy amaretti biscuit. And then it's almost carrot, like a hard caramel type scent to it. And then later on it gets milky, which is really nice. So yeah, it's actually a pretty, pretty nice gourmand fragrance. I like that it's got some development. And as I said, some of those ganache parfums don't have much development. They can be very, very one dimensional. But this actually has a little bit of movement and um, I think it's really nice. I, if I want someone to eat me, this is what I'm going to spray on me because I would so fucking eat me right now. I could eat me right now. Isabella, have you tried Miss Dior? Yes. Um, not for a while. Doesn't excite me too much. I've got um, a decant of the old Cherie one, uh, Miss Dior Cherie, which is the one that's supposed to have the strawberry and the popcorn note. Quite nice, maybe not as popcorn-y as I expected. Um, I actually think I prefer the, abs no, is it Absolutely Blooming? Yeah, I think I quite like the Absolutely Blooming variation more than the original. Is that one that you like? Isabella. Link, Linica, sound is good what we talk about. I don't know, we're all over the bloody show, Linica. Um, yeah, uh, we were, we're last thing, the last fragrance we've been talking about is this one here. It's called Leche y Galetas, or Galletas and it's by ganache parfums and it smells like amaretti biscuits which is rather nice um not really sure what the girl de schwein samala is saying <laughs> don't really know i think I'm running out of drink. So I might call it quits in a minute. If anyone else has anything to say or anything you want to chat about, then now's your time. I've just put Sweetie's batteries back in. Can you hear her? Oh, you're so sweet, sweetie. That's why you're called sweetie, isn't it? Lizzie says it's raining cats and dogs here. It's not raining much here because this roof really accentuates it. So the fact that it's not that loud, it's only spitting. John says, got to run, always enjoy the chat. Nice to see you, John. Thanks for popping in. Um, Scott's off as well. Have a great weekend, everyone. Love you all. Thanks, Scott. See ya. Um, Fragrance enthusiast, are you looking forward to trying any particular men's new fragrance releases over the next few months when we can? Um, I don't even know what's coming out actually. Anyone? Uh oh, don't knock my stuff over, sweetie. Come back. Come back here. Isabella says, Have you tried Meow by Katy Perry? No, I haven't. Um, I have to say I'm not generally that into celebrity fragrances, although there's a few that I think are really good. So I do like to, at the moment I'm really curious about one by Mariah Carey, I think it's just called M by Mariah Carey, I can't remember what the notes were that got me interested but it does sound really nice. Oh Sal's off as well, bye Sal. Um, I 
Tony says heavy but full a bit cheap looking. Uh which what are we talking about? I've lost track. Sweet, you're gonna get me covered in fluff. Jimbo asked this earlier, do you like Mongolan intense? Yes I do. I've uh, I've got a bottle. Uh, which Dan gave me. Dan got sent it by a company, sent him a few different perfumes, and he let me have Mongolan Eau de Parfum Intense, and I really like it. I think it's, it's a lovely, rich vanilla lavender scent. Really enjoy it. I don't, I haven't worn it out a lot. I've worn it to bed a few times. I've worn it out a few times. I have worn it to work. I think it's really nice. Isabel, have you tried Dear John from Lush? I think I have, but I can't remember it now. Um, fragrance enthusiast. Okay, thank you for your time, Susan Claire. See you also. Thanks for joining in, fragrance enthusiast, and we'll see you soon. Um, I'm kind of running out of steam. <laughs> I might go and put Netflix back on. I don't know whether to put Netflix back on or I'll just go to bed. Um, Pink Iris, Liz. I Someone sent me, I think it might have been Tracy, sent me a sample and it's quite nice. I'm not sure if I've still got it anymore. It was quite nice but not enough to excite me. I didn't buy a bottle. Um, but it was very nice. Very girly. Lizzie says go to bed, Claire. Yeah, you're probably right. If I put Netflix on, that's me. I'll, I'll, well, the way it goes, I'll be up till three or four in the morning. So, yeah. I should go straight to bed. Walk straight past the TV. Don't put it on. It's a bit like Monopoly, but not, not pass and go. So, what is it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Isabella says, have you tried Floral Street? I've only tried them in the shop and none of them grabbed me. Um, but I haven't, that's, you know, that's not to say they're not good. It's just, you know, when you want to smell everything at once, you spray this one, spray that one, spray that one. None of them caught my attention. So, yeah. Oh, Jacqueline's perfumery is here. Hello. Uh, Yeah, I think it is probably time for me to go to bed. Oh, don't go over there, sweetie. You're going to knock everything over. Hi, Jacqueline. Nice to see you. Um, the cat is walking on the laptop. <laughs> You're so funny. You've been ignoring me all day. Oh. Wayne says, night, Claire. Get some Zs. Yeah, I will. Um... Off to brush the foil from my teeth and go to Bedfordshire. <laughs> Up the stairs to Bedfordshire, Lizzie. <laughs> right, that's it. Um, night, everyone. Thank you all for popping along. It's lovely to see you. And we'll see you all very, very soon. Let's let the cat go. Much love, uh, 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 much love everyone, stay safe and keep your chins up, I say chins because some of us, have, especially over the last few weeks, have grown extras. <laughs> Night everyone, see you all soon.